One month ago, I decided to start a compost. I used this container with insulated walls and a lid. For composting, you basically put items in from the kitchen, from the garden, and mix layers with dry items and wet items. So I'll explain what that is later. And it starts to decompose into this brown humus, and that's what we call compost. And it's great for improving soil and topping up soil. You could put vegetable scraps, food scraps, even coffee grounds, uh, preferably in unbleached filters, grass clippings. So here I don't actually <laughs> uh, pick up the grass, I try to rake some up, but I mostly get moss. But I guess you, you can say that moss is also... It's not really dry and it's not really wet, something in between. Anyway, here are some uh, wet items uh, which you can put in, and you can also uh, and uh, then it comes another uh, slide with brown items. So you should intermix this with brown in the bottom to suck up any water and prevent bad smell, and then green items. And I always put a brown item layer of after I uh, put in a, a green item layer. So the brown item la layer is all always on top to prevent bad smell. And the humidity should also be uh, correct. So if you have too low humidity, you get ants. And too much humidity, it starts to smell bad. And here I used carbon and pine needles for brown items. But pine cones, they are uh, not as good. Because they won't compose very good. Uh, this uh, glossy paper is not good. It contains chemicals, but this uh, carbon is okay. Uh, so I start actually start composting in the kitchen, uh, in this container, uh, and I put uh, compost litter from the store. It's that's brown item in the bottom to suck up any liquid, prevent bad smell, and then put in food scraps. And af after each time I put in food scraps, I add more compost litter and layer it up, also inside this small container. And then when it's full, I empty it uh, in the big container. And uh, and then stir it around to get some air in, and trying to push down the new items down into the compost, and then add the uh, brown items on top to prevent bad smell. So both by pushing it down and adding brown uh, on top uh, prevents bad smell, but it also speeds up the compost. And this is the compost uh, litter I use from the store. I don't know if that's what it's called in English. I think it's actually compost mixed with sawdust and some activator. Uh, some moss. <laughs> and you could also put in some worms from other parts of the garden, like this one. The, they also improve the quality of the compost. Since you know what you put in your compost, you shouldn't put in pesticides and stuff like that, then uh, it's great if you're actually going to eat what you grow uh, in the compost soil. So here I have some onions, some chili, and they will all be perfectly ecological. Uh, in here, um, that's uh, the finished compost, the same clip again. Uh, so it should be warm in the middle, uh, and smell good. And also, um, usually you can just take out uh, finished compost from the bottom, from a hatch. Uh, but um, uh, you can also get some air in by turning it around a bit with a pitchfork, like I do here. So I guess that's what I learned so far about composting, and it, so far it's turned good, out great.